I teach mainly uh, HE, but I was given a task of working with some um, level three, year two FE students. Um, it was uh, almost two months before um, World Skills, um, and one of the uh, kind of areas that they were looking at was augmented reality. Um, and I'd, I'd worked with this with my um, level six students before, so they asked me if I'd work with them, and they'd, they'd already come up with an idea before I met them, um, and it was about doing a like a detective um, murder solving game um, using augmented reality technology and looking at what was out there um, but we were, we realised that we could actually make this ourselves and um, the students were quite quite with it um, and they were quite technically competent so we, we looked at developing it ourselves using Unity and Vuforia um, and basically we got a group together and they developed um, a series of posters um, a backstory, um, there was a website, um, all sorts of things to set the scene for this game. Um, and basically, the technical part came in where you would download our app that we developed for um, from the website. And if, as you went round, you'd view one of these posters with our app, and the post would come to life. There'd be some blood stains going on over the top of it, there'd be a little bit of text telling you what that clue was about. Um, some 3D objects would appear over the top of this poster um, but everything was attached to the poster so if you moved around with your phone it would all stay with the poster so you could move around the 3D objects and things um, and the idea was to follow the clues um, go around each um, poster trying to find the next one and trying to find um, the, the kind of like, who done it sort of thing One thing we realised was that mobile phones are the most obligatory device that people have and how do we develop technology for this that isn't already here? I mean, I remember the days when I needed 10 devices to do what this thing can do, um, you know, kid of the 90s. And actually, what can push this any further? And a lot of my learners were looking at Pokemon Go that comes out this year now, uh, about being able to see Pokemon in the wild, you know, in your, in, down your local street and stuff like that. And they were like, well, what's that technology? So we explained to them about augmented reality and how it's like overlaying reality. So the idea was to go, okay, if we overlay reality, we use a device that's obvious to you. Then we said, okay, well, what's the other side? The other side is virtual reality. And virtual reality is physically replacing reality. So you end up with the Rift. Um, this is one of the dev kits. We do have two of them. And it's about physically wearing this and completely sort of replacing. So your, your entire environment is replaced rather than with augmented reality where you're just laying on top. So the whole idea of the project was to develop this sense of understanding for the learners about augmented reality, virtual reality, layering, replacing, and actually how to design and build for it, and where applications for that are going to be. One of the first things was actually for the Skillshow project itself, uh, and we asked them to build a murder mystery game that was designed around the AR stuff. So how can you use your phone to investigate clues? So one of the first things that they came out with was a series of... <laughs> with AR, you have to have something for it to work from. So you have to have a picture or an image or some form of tag that when the phone hovers over it, it can actually see something and see the, the hidden information. So what they built was a series of posters that allowed you to see clues, and then those clues built up your own little mini sort of, almost like Professor Layton game. You know, something, a you know, Crystal Maze sort of level, you get a chance to build up on top of, um, and you see those images and how it actually works.